Hi guys, we're back in our kitchen and today we're making baked bean chicken curry. Okay, in a pan of oil, I've diced up some brinjal or terong or virgin, whatever you want to call it. And we want to deep fry this for about 2-3 to three minutes until they're nice and golden brown. Then we want to remove them and then just set them aside for later. Now in the same pan of the oil, I've added some spices, so I have fennel seeds, some cumin seeds, some mustard seeds, I've listed all down below in the recipe. And next you want to add in your other aromatics of onion, um, I've got some green chilli as well as chilli padi here. Mix that around a little bit before putting your garlic and ginger paste. So this is garlic and ginger I've just pounded in a pastel and mortar. Give that a swirl before adding your other spices, so today I'm using coriander as well as chilli powder, as well as just generic um, chicken curry powder here. So you can just um, use a little bit if you're cooking uh, for, for kids, you can also omit the chilies if you're cooking for kids, but if you like it extra spicy, then add more. The next thing that goes in is your protein. Today I'm using um, minced chicken, but you can use minced lamb for this, minced beef for this, any type of protein that you like. You mix that around a little bit before seasoning it with a little bit of salt. So once that's all combined, I add in my vegetables. So today I've got some diced carrots as well as frozen peas. Um, and you, but you can also use uh, potatoes in this or pumpkin, anything that you like. The next thing that goes in is obviously your baked beans. So I'm using one can of baked beans here as well as one can of water. And you want to just gently cook this on a medium to low heat and just let that bubble away. So this is the part that takes a little bit of time but it tastes really good. Um, at this point actually you can put in some coconut milk if you like or some cream just to make it a little bit more thicker and luscious. But today I'm just leaving it as it is. And then you want to let that bubble away and once thickens up like this. Next goes in your fried brinjal and you just want to gently fold that in and then it's done guys. Enjoy!